All right, Wesley with Expand the Craft here, and uh, we are going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Triple Sixteen Expand the Craft. That boat comes apart in about 15 minutes. Throw it in the back of your truck there, and this one, the 16-foot canoe with an 8-foot wide outrigger. This one has the Honda uh, Marine motor, and a couple of things we've been out here talking about this. Uh, this Honda motor doesn't have any up and down adjustment, so it's a little high and it tends to cavitate. Um, the Kayak Buddies design has an up and down, and you can eliminate that problem. So you don't have to be as precise in making your motor mount, and you don't have to get your motor mount so low that it starts splashing the water when you go fast. So uh, you've been on this uh, one that I'm on, and now you're on the other. What do you think? Well, it's definitely a different animal, that's for sure. This, uh, the motor on this, the 35cc Honda motor, it pushes it exactly the same. What's nice about this is it's, it's smooth. I mean, the acceleration on this particular model is smooth because you're very streamlined. That's the one thing I first noticed, that you don't have to give it a lot of gas to get going. Um, the fact that these are easily, you know, modular, they come apart, you can put them together, you know, within minutes. And the fact, like I said, you have a flat deck. I'm like a kayak that doesn't have a flat deck. Well, they have a flat deck, let's not to say they don't. You have a platform on this. They're not the same animals. I typically run, you know, open deck kayaks. Right. You can stand up and walk around. You, yeah, you can actually just go dive off this. And if you notice, folks, I've got a swim ladder here. You go to the front, you just put that down, it extends to three feet into the water, and you just walk up. There's no scrambling if you want to get back on your boat. This is a mini pontoon boat. That's the, yeah. thing. That's, that's the difference on this one. Plus, like I said, as far as bringing somebody else on, you're not stuck in position. Now, the difference between this motor and a kayak motor, I'm going to ask you to speak up. There is a little wind noise. Okay. As far as the two, well, I mean, the motors are the same. I mean, honestly, what's different about this one is the adjust where this prop has to be in relation to the pontoon. So this is a smaller of the two. Obviously, we have a 53cc that compares to the Honda Outboard, um, which would be interesting to see what it does with this. But you're definitely right now generating probably five miles an hour out of this already. All right. Well, let's go find us some boat wakes to play with. All right. Let's do it. All right. Accelerating away. You're you're on. Now I'm going to motor up behind them. We're hitting about five knots. I'm cavitating just a little bit. And if you'll see how the uh, expand the craft hulls just slice through the water. And he's high and dry, not even getting his ankles wet here. Up where you can see the fishes. See the expand craft valves, they kind of pierce the waves, wobble around a little bit, and he keeps on going. See how it works? And that motor is quiet. I can't believe how quiet that motor is. We're gonna be doing a testing in a lot of different uh, expand the craft boats. It's got a pretty good turn radius. We're gonna go find some boat wakes. We, all this is little stuff. All right, here we are. Looks like I got a little salt water on the, the lens. But I'm gonna talk about this Honda here. This Honda may be faster than uh, the other smaller of the uh, engines we're testing today, but not by much. And when I put too much power to it, it starts to cavitate. So I really gotta address the um, motor mount. Expandacraft.com. Check us out.